Go on, guys. This is how a jig like this turns into a tuna. So here we go. Michael's already got one on. As per usuals, you know, we just come out here. The sun's coming out. Seven o'clock in the morning. It's Monday. Seven o'clock in the morning. We're over here trying to catch some some fresh bait. There you go. See what I'm saying, guys? Beautiful. That right there, that right there is a sword fish in the making. Boom. What's going on, guys? So we got some, some fresh bait. Uh, we're going to be heading 20 miles off the coast of Miami right now for the swordfish. And um, let me show you a little scenario here. So we got a live well full of bait. That's uh, 40 gallons. At eight pounds a gallon, it's 320 pounds that we're sitting right here in the back of the boat on the transom. So that's why you're probably wondering why is the LP reel all the way up here strapped instead of being on the rod holder? Well, it weighs 32 pounds. So on a small boat, only 23 foot boat with a single engine and two guys on it, we can't afford any dead weight. And weight and balance is crucial. So that's how we do it. Small boat, you gotta watch your weight and balance, guys. Weight and balance. We are out. We're gonna rig up this tuna, I mean this bonito, for swordfish bait right now. And we're heading, we still got another uh, 17 miles more to go. Here we go. We're heading, we're, we're heading fishing right now. We're not even heading home. Yeah, what a challenge. Join us. You'll have a lot of fun. Wow. Tall pond weight being released right now, half a mile down.
our little birdie up there is gonna be our good luck charm if you guys see it. Every time a little birdie like that comes out here in the swordfish grounds, and gets on on the boat, it's good luck charm. I'm gonna try to see if I can feed him some water and some guava and cheese pastelito, man. Look at this, guys. The little birdie landed on Michael's head. He's our friend. What's his name? Homer? How you doing, Homer? Thanks for being invited in our boat. You invited yourself. Come out. Oh, he wants some of that Cuban coffee. You see it right next to him? Right there, that Cuban coffee. I'm going to try to feed him some pastelitos and some water. Poor guy. What's going on, guys? It's that time of day. Cuban pastry, guava and cheese pastelito with our famous and signature cafe con leche. So, guys, as you saw, never a boring day here. We're 20 miles off the coast of Miami. We've been uh, here since. Um, 7 30 this morning and we're bringing up already our swordfish baits and this big huge that you guys saw or will see depending on how i figure out the editing conspiracy is going to happen um big ass squid 30 pound squid chased our baits from the bottom of the ocean half a mile down to the bottom of the ocean all the way to here michael right here free gaffed a 30 pound squid at least I, I'm, I don't have any words to say. I'm just glad that he didn't come out here and try to chase and eat my pastelitos. Guys, we're out. We're going now? <laughs> I'm eating my pastelitos. Why are you guys looking at me eating my pastelitos? A little privacy here, guys. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? We're out. Yeah, there. Nice. Look at this. We had this squid. Big ass squid was following my bait all the way from the swordfish grounds, half a mile down, following the bait. Let me see. He's throwing out the ink now. Big old squid, guys. Look at the colors on that. Changing the colors. Wow. Let me see. <laughs> That's, That's it, mate. crazy. Let me see, mate. Look at all that. Look at that. Look how he changes colors, guys. Big old squid web, Mike. We're eating calamari today. We're eating calamari today. <laughs> hey, what about how 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 uh how heavy is she? Look at that. Look at that. all that ink. Spray. Look at all that ink, guys. Wow. Look at all that ink. She out here coming over here chasing my bait. <laughs> Big old come on, bring her up, Mike. I want to see it. It's 30 pounds. 30 pound squids. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we're eating calamari, boy. No, I like calamari. Do I put her in already? I think she's done eating. Bring it, bring her in. Ah! Let me see. Oh, look at that eyes on that. Oh, she's not done inking. What's that? What you got, Mike? I got me a big ass kraken. Kraken, big ass, big ass squids. Guys, look at the eyes on that. Look at the eyes on that squid. You got eyes on you, Mike. You got eyes on you. You got a big old squid right there. Woo! I, I'm thinking at least 30 pounds. 30 pounds for sure. Wow, that's awesome. So we're down there trying to catch a swordfish half a mile to the bottom of, of the ocean. And this squid followed our bait all the way, all the way back. That's awesome. Big old squid, guys. Big old squid. Look at that. Show them the head. Show them. From the, from the eye. Oh, there you are. I got, I got eyes on the prize, guys. Today's theme is eyes on your prize, not your neighbor's prize, not your community's prize, not your country's prize. And I don't want to get politics about this. Eyes on your prize. The second you lose eyes on your prize, somebody else is looking at your prize. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I'm out. Let's do some calamaris, Mike. Let's do it. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the eye on this thing. Whoa. 
Oh, oh, trying to bite me. Trying to bite me. There you go, Mike. That's good. That's good. That's pretty cool. Why are we going to ice that now? Wow. Squad, guys. Like the theme says, eyes on the prize. On your prize, not anybody else's prize, on your prize. 37 pound, big ass squid. What's it called? Kraken? A cr Kraken. A Kraken. Look it up. You know, it's on you. We are having. Calamari. Calamari's, bro. Calamari's. <laughs> We're having Mac Daddy Calamari's, buddy. Look at this sucker right here. Large. Is huge. Pounds. Oh, awesome. Guys, this is a 37 pound squid. Called the Kraken. Kraken. And this is the proper way we think. I don't know. You let me know if you think anything different. The proper way to clean a 37 pound squid to make calamaris. This thing is huge. Let's go, Mike. Show them. Let's check out his guts. Actually, it's a, it's a female. There's no blood here, guys, so don't hate. This thing right here is as thick as two of my fingers. The, the crystal. It's right here. This right here could be an alien. This could be right here an alien. Alright, look at this guy. Look at the beak. Look at the beak. There's a beak on this thing. I know you're trying to, you want him to bite me. The beak. I got my eyes on you. All right, that's it, Mike. It's all meat. It's all meat. What's going on, guys? Join me to the kitchen today. So, I want to shout out to my friend Eric Garcia for putting this amazing recipe together. Most of it that you will see there is. Um, it's obvious anyways so this is Eric's large calamari in tomato sauce recipe so he dices up all the purple onions the red peppers the tomatoes and all that stuff and now he's gonna get ready he's gonna put the calamari for seven minutes in hot water with a little salt and pepper on high temperature. Then he's gonna separate and put the garlic and tomatoes and the oil and the onions and tomato and, and olives, saute that for another eight minutes. And then he's gonna put everything together and cook it for 20 minutes, adding a little bit of pepper and red wine vinegar. And we're gonna put it all together. And this is a real recipe of his and put it all together and cook it for 20 minutes. All right, so the rest is up to you guys. I'm glad you guys came out fishing with us today and enjoyed this recipe. Uh, for you guys, for a lot of new subscribers, please subscribe, like, and share. And we are out. Like I said, enjoy again. By the ways, 
this recipe is absolutely delicious and I thank you very much again Eric for sharing your recipe with us and, and the world. I'm out.